What's up you guys, Jedi Master Josh here, and today is Christmas. Merry Christmas to y'all. What better way to celebrate than with a Charizard Ultra Premium Collection? Now today I'm opening a bunch of different products. We have the Ultra Premium Collections of both Charizard and Arceus, and I will be doing a V-Star Universe box. If you guys haven't seen, the Arceus Premium Collection should be up before this one, so make sure you check out that video after you see this one if you're seeing this one first. And then, a little bit after this one goes up, I'll have that V-Star Universe box up and ready to watch as well. Hopefully we can get this box open before I finish explaining the whole premium Christmas thing. So yeah, <laughs> welcome to the premium premium Christmas series. Hey, we're gonna uh, one of these days we'll get this box open. But uh, <laughs> the Charizard Ultra Premium Collection has already got a pretty tumultuous history, and it's still a fairly new product. It's only about maybe a month and a half to two months old at most right now, and it's gone from being something that was scalped at. 250 plus dollars a box to now you find them on the shelf at MSRP everywhere you go or people are even selling them at a loss for less than MSRP. But let's go ahead and open this up and we'll see what we can get out of ours. The boxes on Ultra Premium Collections are always super awesome. So this has a magnetic seal on top and when it pops open you're going to get to view it kind of. Let's see what we can do if we can get this to to be friendly with us. I'm already knocking stuff over and making a little bit of a, a difficult situation here. But let's go ahead and see if we can pop this open. We'll lay it open like this and then we'll pull out the first item which this is the play mat. So this is going to be the really awesome play mat. If you guys have seen pictures of it yet then you'll know that this is a really really cool play mat in my opinion. It's basically just the artwork of the Charizard VMAX promo that is in this box, but on a playmat in its glorious fashion like so. Check that out. Now this playmat is not full size, so both the RCS UPC and the Charizard UPC have slightly smaller than normal size playmats. I have used both of these playmats at my leagues and played with them and have not had any problems. So let's go ahead and we'll start with this box and see what's in here. Okay, cool. We get sleeves. Check that out. We get our Charizard sleeves. I do really like these sleeves. I'm not so keen on the big, thick borders on them that they're putting on the newer sleeves, but, you know, to each their own. I still think they are pretty nice sleeves. The quality of the sleeves have gone up quite a bit. So you get yourself some metal, metal uh, damage counters here, and then also inside should be some metal condition markers. So we've got our metal condition markers, metal damage counters, but I noticed that you don't get a metal die, which is not really that big of a deal. Now there's nothing else in that box. We'll go ahead and slide that in there. Oh, the one thing I forgot, I feel it sticking out now, is there's a sword and shield like guidebook from all of the sword and shield sets over time so you can flip through it and see every sword and shield set so there's sword and shield base champions path let's see what else we can find here we've got darkness ablaze let's flip a couple of pages oh there's evolving skies everyone loves evolving skies brilliant stars so on and so forth but it ends at if we can get past the lost origin it ends at silver tempest here and then it doesn't have anything else past that and doesn't really show any cards from silver tempest either and the other thing I was noticing is that, you know, we don't really end the Sword and Shield block at Silver Tempest, do we? We end it at Crown Zenith. So I thought that was a little bit interesting, but let's go ahead and see what we can get out of this next. Oh, the next box has a bunch of packs in it. Let's go ahead and bump the camera a little bit while we dig these packs out. Just overly excited. It's Christmas Day, right? Let me know what you guys got for Christmas. If you guys got any Pokemon cards. Look at all these. Wow, four Fusion Strike packs, three Evolving Skies, and a Vivid Voltage. Now there's also... A V-Star marker in there if uh, you didn't have enough of these yet already. Let's go ahead and just throw that off to the side. We don't need any more V-Star markers. We'll go ahead and put these packs off to the side for a second so that I can get this last box out of here. And this is where all the good stuff is. So these are the Charizard promos that you're going to get with this box. The big ticket item from the box and... The thing about being a big ticket item now is that they're not very big ticket anymore, are they? So we've got Lost Origin, 
and some upside down packs. We've got Astral Radiance and Brilliant Stars. All right, let's go ahead and get this big box out of the way and then we'll just start digging into these packs and I'll show off these promo cards as well. All right, yes, but that box, I'll definitely be keeping that box. We'll keep that box for a display piece or for holding on to stuff. Let's look at these promos first. Now, my last set of promos were a little bit off-center, but they weren't horrible. They were still okay. And let's go ahead and see if we can get maybe a little bit better promos this time. Hopefully, we can get something better for this V card. I'm already looking at it and seeing that it does look a little bit off-center left to right. Not too bad, though. It does look a little bit better than the last one, but this card is selling for about $11 right now. So, big ticket item, right? <laughs> and then the Charizard VMAX, this is, I think, about $15. And then this one is also between $11 and $15. They're all, you get all of them for roughly $30 to $45 if you purchase them correctly. We're going to go ahead and we're going to put them up in the pool pool anyways because I do love these promos. So we've got our code card as well. Uh, if you guys try to take that code card, I'm just going to let you know I will probably have scanned it already um, because I didn't get to scan the last code card from my last UPC and I'd like to have them in the online game. So sorry about that. If you guys want some other code cards, we're going to have some right here and also leave it. Oh, what do we have? Oh, there's our coin, Charizard coin hiding in the middle of the packs. All right. So forgot about that. But we're going to be handing out the code cards from all these packs and I hand out code cards in the comments all the time. So definitely make sure you leave a comment down below. I'm just going to set this stack. Ugh, well, I want to save the Evolving Skies for last. Everyone's going to hate me for that, but we're going to save all the Evolving Skies for last, and then we'll do it just like this. We'll get Fusion Strike out of the way first because my Fusion Strike luck is absolutely horrible, and then we'll go into Vivid Voltage, and we're going to try and make this a, a quick opening today. We're just going to go ahead and hand you guys the code card like that. I guess the code cards are going to be backwards today, but there's a code card for you guys. We'll do one, two, three, and 4. Let's see what we can do. Now, my last Charizard UPC, I pulled an alt art from Fusion Strike. Can we do the same with the Fusion Strike on this Charizard UPC? We're going to get a water energy. That was what I was going to guess anyway. So we've got Croconaw, Darkrai, Quillfish, Corsola, Baltoy, Minun, Panseer, Garbodor, and a Breloom V. We'll go ahead and we'll put that up in the pool pool. I'm not going to sleeve anything right now. I'll be sleeving everything after the video because we have a lot of packs to go through. So we're going to go ahead and dig through these packs right away. We've got Gengar on the next pack of Fusion Strike. Fusion Strike. Let's get some luck from Fusion Strike, hopefully. All right, let's go ahead and dig into this next pack. We'll hand off that. Oh, I keep doing that. All right, code card to you guys. The code cards are going to be backwards. We're going to have to remember that. All right, one, two, three, and four. Let's say a Fire Energy. We get a Metal Energy. Now, my last Premium Collection, Ultra Premium Collection opening, the Arceus, I... Uh, I said I would guess an energy correctly, and then I didn't. So hopefully we can guess an energy correctly today. We have a Landorus Holographic Rare. Not too bad. Landorus is one of those Chaos Trio that is now a quartet type thing. I don't want to talk about it again. We've got Mew, Fusion Strike, Mew. If we could get a Mew alt art in here, either the Mew V or V Max, that would actually be insane. I've never pulled a... Mew, okay, never mind. There's a code card for you guys. We're just going to go through this one. We saw that it was a white border, so there we go. We know we're not getting anything out. Oh, a cross switcher, actually, so that might be helpful. And we were going to guess a psychic energy anyways, so definitely guess that energy right. Pat on the back for that. We'll get into our next pack here. We have Genesect. Now, Genesect does have an alt art, but I do not believe it's in Fusion Strike. Correct me if I'm wrong. Let's go ahead and see what we can get from this pack. We're not going to forget this this time. The code card is facing this way. There's a code card for you guys. We'll do one, two, three, and four, and we'll say a lightning energy. Okay, fire energy. Fine. We've got low punny, skaters park, beware, darumaka. Look at the saturation on that card. That's crazy. We've got pancham, wooloo, pansage, Klefki. Have we pulled all the pan monkey Pokemon already? We've got Corsola. I think we did. I think we got all three of them. But let's go ahead and move on from Fusion Strike. Like I said, Fusion Strike, bad luck for me. We're just going to dig into Vivid Voltage next. Now, there's only one pack of Vivid Voltage in here, but a lot of people got lucky with Vivid Voltage and got two packs of Vivid Voltage in their uh, Charizard UPC. So just make sure that, you know, if you're going to pick up a UPC, double check, you might accidentally get two packs of Vivid Voltage, which is 
a little bit of a, a, a Christmas miracle, right? There's the code guard for you guys. We'll toss that off to the side. Now, there are Amazing Rares and Vivid Voltage, which is what makes it one of my favorite sets. Let's see if we can get Amazing Rare. How about a Fighting Energy? We get a Lightning, and Fighting, Lightning, they sound the same. You know, they sound they sound similar enough. I think that should count. We're going to we're gonna go ahead and count it, all right? <laughs> we can't count that. We get a Reverse Cramorant, so not an Amazing Rare, and we get a Beedrill for the Rare. All right, so... Struck out with Vivid Voltage, but there's only one pack of Vivid Voltage, so, you know, you can't expect too much. We have Brilliant Stars, Ash Radiance, Lost Origin, and then Evolving Skies. Let's see what we can get from this pack here. Now, I had thought that there was Darkness Ablaze in this. I could be wrong, but let me know in the comments down below if you guys have gotten different packs from your Charizard UPC. Let's, okay, so we got another backwards code card. But there you go. So I think most of these code cards are going to be backwards. Let's say a metal energy. We get a fight. Oh my goodness. We just guessed a fighting energy. Let's see what we can get though. We got Bronzor, Electrike, Ghastly, Binnacle, Murkrow, Chandelure for the reverse. A little bit off center Chandelure. And an Electros for the rare. So nothing from that pack, but that was just our first pack of Lost Origin. We have a couple of packs of Lost Okay, so only only two packs of Lost Origin, I guess. But you know what? Two packs is sometimes all you need, right? Maybe we'll get the Alt Art Giratina out of this pack. Maybe we'll get a different Alt Art out of this pack. Maybe we'll get a gold card. Uh, hopefully, just manifest, right? Alt Art Giratina. We're manifesting the Alt Art Giratina. There's a code card for you guys because they wanted to put them all in backwards for some reason. And we're going to say a Leaf Energy. We get a Metal Energy. Okay, we got Seedra, Seviper, Binnacle, Murkrow, Wurmple, Clefairy. Can we get a Trainer Gallery? Yeah, oh, and we got a really, really good Trainer Gallery, too. Perfect for this box, might I say. We get Charizard from the Charizard UPC. Can we follow it up with a double banger? Oh, and it is a double banger. We got a Pidgeot V to throw up there in the pool pool. Charizard V with it. That is awesome. You know, there's not a lot of Trainer Gallery cards that I get super excited about, but that Charizard V is definitely one of them. Let's go ahead and dig into Astral Radiance. There are a couple of Trainer Gallery cards in this set that I liked as well. Specifically the Starmie V with uh, Misty in it. Let's hopefully get... Maybe we can pull that. That would actually be really nice. Or we could pull an Altar Palkia or Dalga or Machamp maybe. Let's see what we get for this. Okay, all the code cards are going to be backwards. But luckily enough, that was a Black Border code card. So hopefully we get something good. Let's say a Fire Energy. We get a Dark Energy... Not doing well with the guess the energies, but we've got Cranidos, Growlithe, Scyther, Cyndaquil, Hippopotas, Bergmite, Hisuian Lilligant for the reverse, and a Weirdeer V full art for the rare. Check that out. Now that's actually awesome. I saw this little bit of silvering and I was getting really excited, but it turns out it is a full art, but I'm not upset about that. We'll put that up into our pull pool, and hopefully we can just continue stacking up these cards. I have Samurott on this next pack of Astral Radiant. Samurott, give us some luck here, buddy. Hopefully you got something good. Let's hand that code card off to the audience, and we'll throw that off to the side. We'll do one, two, three, and four. What are we going to say now? Psychic energy? We get a lightning energy. Okay, that's fine. We've got Overquill, Yuxi, or Uxi, however you want to say it. We've got Ponyta, Rufflet, Bergmite. I just got some shiny Bergmite in Pokemon Go. Let me know if you... Oh, is that two different Quillfish? Look at that. That's two different arts of Quillfish. Do they have the... They have different set numbers and everything. That's crazy. And they're both Hisuian. Okay, that's kind of cool. And what can we get behind it? We have a holographic Reggie Gigas. It's like the whole card is holographic. That's a, that's actually kind of cool. I kind of like that. All right. Let's clean up a little bit of my mess I'm making here so we have a little bit more room because we're starting to run, run out of room here. But okay, we got Astral Radiance coming up next. This is the last pack of Astral Radiance. And then we're going to get into Brilliant Scars. I mean, Brilliant Stars. And then we'll finish off with that Evolving Skies. There's the code card for you guys. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys get from those code cards. And also let me know what you guys think about these Ultra Premium Collections. Let's say a Fire Energy, we get Leaf. Okay, shout out to Unlisted Leaf there. We've got Hippowdon, Hisuian Heavy Ball, Quilava, 
Bronzor, Rowlet, Ponyta, Rufflet, Voltorb, Melanie Trainer Gallery, Full Art Trainer, check that out. Now that's a really awesome card there. Very playable card too. Now let's see if we can get something behind it. Can we get, okay, we got ourselves a Vespaquin. That's not too bad. Look at this, oh, you know what? This Ultra Premium Collection so far is turning out quite well. I am not upset whatsoever. Let's see if we can continue this luck with Brilliant Stars. Brilliant Stars is probably gonna be one of the best sets from Sword and Shield mostly because it contains a bunch of Charizard cards, but also it has Arceus in it. I mean, Arceus is the god of Pokemon. You, what, do we, do we? Oh, okay. Well, it's a white border code card, but it looks like Brilliant Stars actually has their stuff together here with uh, the correct facing code cards. Let's say a dark energy. We get a metal energy. You know what they, they're kind of the same color palette, dark and metal, right? Just black and gray, right? We can, no, we can't count that. Okay, Grimer, Lapras for the reverse, and a Lipard for the rare. So nothing from that first pack of Brilliant Stars, but it's just we're just warming up, right? We're just warming up. We got three packs of Brilliant Stars. There's got to be something good here. The fact that there's three packs of Evolving Skies in here also makes me really, really hopeful that maybe we can get something good from Evolving Skies. It's gonna be it's gonna be a shot but maybe we can do it. Let's go ahead and see what this code card has for you guys. Like I said, let me know what you get in the comments down below. We'll do four to the front and we'll say, what do we say? We've we've guessed wrong so many times now. Do we say a, a metal energy again? Okay, it's a leaf energy. Thank you for that. We got Kindler, Collab Stadium, Chimchar, Minchino, Baltoy, Snow Runt. Can we get another trainer gallery? No, we get a Milsery Reverse and a Shaman V Full Art. Check that out. It's the Full Art box. So this box is just full of Full Arts. That's I'm not upset about that. We'll take that. We've got, we, we have a lot of cards to sleeve after this video, but we still have more packs to go. So we can't, we can't waste time sleeving cards right now. Let's see if we can get this video done in the same amount of time as the Arceus ones. I think we're close. We're, we're, we're running behind. Let's go ahead and dig into this Brilliant Stars pack. See if we can get just one more good pull. Let Hook us up, Shaman. Just one more good pull. There's a code card for you guys. Let me know in the comments down below what you get from the code cards. I'm just going to keep saying it, by the way. So just let me know. You know, fire energy. We get a lightning energy instead. We got Morgrim, Claydol, Executor, Turtwig, Minchino, Carablast, Buizel, Halucha, and Eevee Trainer Gallery. Look at this. Some of the best trainer galleries, too, that we can pull. Eevee, you gotta love Eevee. And you got Bill in the background there. That's awesome. Let's see if we can get something behind it. We have a holographic Dusk Noir. So at base, it's, it's considered a hit, right? Dusk Noir, holographic? Yeah, we'll, we'll consider it a hit. So double banger pack. <laughs> Double banger. All right, we're going to dig into Evolving Skies next. I'm not going to switch up the order. We're going to leave them exactly how they sit. We're going to do Duraludon first. Let's see if we can get something good from Evolving Skies. They don't want to open very well, but maybe we can uh, just kind of manhandle them a little bit here and show them who's boss. Okay, we got it. And let's see. Okay, the code cards are backwards in Evolving Skies, but this is a good sign. So there's a code card for you guys. Let me know in the comments what you get for the hundredth time. Let's say a fighting energy. We get a dark energy. Okay, we'll get I'm not gonna say that. I'm not I almost said we're gonna guess an energy in this video, but you know, from the last video I probably I probably shouldn't go about saying that. We've got Bergmite for the reverse and the rare is a Metacham V. You know what? That's not too bad. We take that. We take it, it's an ultra rare. We're gonna put that up in the pull pool. And we're just gonna hope that we keep getting some good pulls from Evolving Skies. That's, you know, one ultra rare kind of brings our it brings our odds down a little bit, but maybe we can continue the good luck. We got Rayquaza next. Rayquaza, what do you have in store for us? Maybe an alt art Rayquaza VMAX? That would actually be insane. Let's go ahead and hand this code card off to you guys. Yeah, I had to think there for a second. It was backwards. Yep, okay, so we got one, two, three, and four. And how about a water energy? Oh, we finally guessed an energy. Oh, thank you. Sigh of relief. Okay, we can we can forget about that now. We've got Ice Q, Copycat, Mareep, Teddy Ursa, Sableye, Lotad, Hitmonchan, the reverse is a Petalil, 
and the rare is a holographic Reggie Ilecki. So that would mean that we're two hit packs in a row. So that would be like two good code cards in a row. Can we go three in a row? I don't, I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below, you guys, what you guys think about the Charizard UPC. What do you think about the Arceus UPC? Which one do you guys like better? Leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and make sure you also check out the V-Star Universe box that we're going to open a little bit later. Let's go ahead and see what we get. There's a code card for you guys. Again, let me know what you get from those code cards. How about a fire energy to end us off? We got a metal energy. We, we guessed an energy. I'm... I'm over it. We're done. We're done with the whole guessing the energy fiasco. We've got C dot Pikachu. The reverse is a Drampa, and we are ending the video on a Talon Flame non holographic rare. But you know what? I am not mad. Check out these pulls we got, you guys. We got a couple of full arts. We got a trainer from the trainer gallery, a full art trainer. We got a couple of trainer galleries that I really, really love, like Charizard and Eevee. And then obviously you can't hate those promos, but you can kind of hate the, the market of the promos right now a little bit. It's okay. It's okay to hate that a little bit. Merry Christmas to everyone, and I will see you in the next video.